reaction when you were like everybody else when you heard the news yesterday just kind of what how did all that you know, kind of hit you it was uh, it was devastating you know we were in practice and um you know we were like in between sessions and and one of the managers came up and said you know kobe Bryant, you know just died and um it hit me like a ton of bricks because i didn't i didn't understand what he said at first and then i just walked off the court and went to my office and and saw it and it was you know i was frozen you know he's um I mean, obviously, everyone knows what he's done, you know, as far as basketball-wise, but mm -hmm. he was an incredible person and just a giant in, in, in the world, you know what I mean? And so it was, it was shocking. And there was a story I know that Mike has pointed out that at one point in time he called you the best defensive player he'd ever faced. Yep. I know you've heard that before. I mean, how does that kind of – and how does it still kind of make you feel to, to hear him say that? I mean, anytime someone who's – as great a player as he is, you know, would say something like that about about you is, um, you know, it makes you feel good. And I mean, it's it's an extreme honor, you know, for someone like that to say something like that about me. You mm -hmm. know, so I mean, it's carried. I mean, it's followed me throughout my whole career, and it's helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, I can only thank him, you know, so much for for what he's done for me in mm -hmm. my life and, and the friendship that we had. You played at Chester High School, correct? Yeah. How many times did you guys play against each other? A ton of times, yeah. and um, through high school, our, our high school teams, you know, face each other a bunch of times. You know, we play with and against each other, you know, in the summers and you know different leagues. So, a ton of times. Any memorable games that kind of stand out uh, to you? Each, I, mean, I know it's probably a lot of them. But each one is memorable. Yeah. You know, uh, they actually, he actually ended my high school career. You know, um, you know, we lost them in the uh, the game to get to the state finals. You know, in, in Pennsylvania and. Um, they beat us in overtime. Mm -hmm. You know, he ended up having about 39 points, 27 from the free throw line. Though. <laughs> <laughs> We're wondering about that since you're talking <laughs> the best defensive player you played. Right, uh, but uh, <laughs> you know, he just, just, you know, it hurts. You know, um, but I mean, he he blessed us and you all and you know, the rest of the world with with memorable times. Mm -hmm. What did you see in him back then in high school that sort of maybe was a clue to the, the player and person he would become once he got into the NBA and beyond? I mean, he was, I mean, I, I tell a story all the time. You know, he was just different. You know, his approach to everything was different. Um, I remember a time when we were uh, in AAU, and he was my roommate, you know, on the road. And, um, you know, a typical young, you know, 16, 17-year-old guy on the road in a hotel away from home, you know, you want to have fun. You know, you want to play video games. You want to, you know, walk the streets a little bit, maybe go to the mall. And... Um, you know, it's around 8 o'clock, 8.30, and it's lights out. You know, we're in a hotel, you know, we're young, and, you know, the lights are out. It's bedtime, you know what I mean? And, and uh, so I'm like, Kobe, man, like, like why, why we got to go to bed so early? You know, but, you know, we had a big matchup the next night, I mean, next morning uh, with Tim Thomas, who was one of the, you know, be you know, biggest high school players at the time and played a bunch of years in the NBA. You know, that was our matchup the next morning, so... He was. He wanted to be ready and, and energized, and and um, and he came out the next morning and put on a show. But my my point is, his his approach to the game of basketball and to the game of life was just like that. You know what I mean? Like he, it was about business early on, and and that's something that always stuck out to me. Not many guys.